Today I am going to prove that Earth is actually flat. Now there has been many debates about what is the curvature or the shape of Earth. There are some conservatives and some very annoying scientific people who just want to make everyone believe what they believe. So today we are going to see whether Earth is spherical as it is shown or it is flat. First of all we should ask ourselves one question and that question is what do we mean by geometry of an object? Okay, the simple answer would be, well, it can be spherical, it can be round, it can be flat, it can be like a mat, it can be like a ball. So in simple terms, this is, let's say, we mean by geometry. But the next question is more important. Is there any absolute geometry of an object? For example, if I see a ball, no matter how I see this ball, is it always going to be perfectly spherical and a ball? To answer this question, to answer this question, I have to take you back more than 300 years ago to Galileo Galilei. Now Galileo Galilei observed a very interesting thing. He observed that whenever something is moving, its velocity is not actually absolute. For example, if you're running with it, its velocity will be decreased. And if you're moving away from it, obviously its velocity will be increased. This is what we call Galilean transformations. So the measurement of velocity actually depends on which frame or which is your point of view. Where are you standing when you're taking this measurement? But what about the geometry of an object? Is geometry absolute? No matter where we are standing, are we still going to see something as spherical or something flat? Well, the answer is no. Well, Galilean transformation when they are applied to Maxwell equations, which are actually the theory of electricity and magnetism and optics. When we apply Galilean transformation to these equations, they actually give wrong answers. So should we give up Galilean transformation or should we give up Maxwell equations? Which one should we give up? In 1905, Einstein came up with a paper named on electrodynamics of moving bodies. In that paper, Einstein said that Maxwell equations are not actually wrong. They are, they give the right answers, but the problem is with Galilean transformation. Instead of using Galilean transformation, we should use Lorentz transformation, which were actually derived back by Lorentz to come in harmony with Maxwell equations. But Einstein had a deep insight. He said, what can be other implications of these Lorentz transformation applying on other things? For example, applying in the same scenario as Galileo. So what he observed was there was time dilation and length contraction that everyone has heard about. Now we are going to use this piece of information that we call length contraction and we are going to prove that the earth is actually flat. So what is length contraction? In simple words, if you have something in front of you, and you move very fast in front of it and let's say you're measuring from this thing which is moving very fast if you measure the length of that object its length will actually contract see where i'm going if we talk about the fundamental particles of the universe there are some particles that we call neutrino how are they formed they are formed because of nuclear interaction in the sun blah 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 but they move very close to the speed of light they move very fast so when they are moving very close to earth let's say they are moving in front of the earth and let's say from this frame of reference of this neutrino i calculate how earth looks like from this neutrino it will look actually flat right this is the round earth and if neutrino is passing from here it will actually flatten right so what's going on here if you are measuring from the point of view of a neutrino you will look at the earth as a flat earth but from our point of view from our frame of reference yes earth is spherical so who is right is the earth spherical or is the earth flat well this is the wrong question to ask there is no absoluteness in geometry of an object but what is absolute there must be something absolute about something there mustn't be but there is it is called space-time interval the space-time interval of a body is something which is constant about something but let me know what do you think about it tell me in the comment apna khayal rakhiyega allah hafiz